I got another truth table here with a bunch of drop down boxes. So um, I'm going to do, I would do them column by column. And because they're all there in one place, you're only going to get one positive affirmation. Sorry. Alright, so um, you can see that. Let me try to highlight this for you here. Uh, go with yellow. Um, it's it. You've got if P then Q. That is right here. If and only if, if and only if the negation, the negation of, if the negation of Q, then the negation of P, which is right here. And then the whole thing is the if and only if right here. That's for the whole thing. I guess I should. This will be the last calculation that you would do. And it'll be between whatever you get from the yellow row compared with whatever you get from the blue. But because the blue has um, the negation of Q and the negation of P in it, they give you two columns for that. So uh, this will be the first column that I do. And to get the negation of P, to get this column here, you just go over and negate P. So true, true, false, false becomes false, false, true, true. And then step two is the negation of Q. So to get this column, you just look at Q, which is true, false, true, false, and you negate it. So it's false, true, false, true. Okay, now I come to the third column which is in yellow, uh, but I don't want to use yellow, or do I? Do I have a yellow color? Let's see. Eh, that one's yellow enough. Okay, so this will be step three, which says, if P, then Q. So it's kind of like if I look over here, I'm doing if P, then Q, like from left to right here. And so remember that the only time you get a false on an if then, is when it's if true then false and that's the second one so if true then true is true if true then false is false if false then true is true and if false then false is also true okay now i go over to the blue the turquoisey blue color there we go there's a turquoisey blue and this says, this will be step four, and it says, if negation of Q, then negation of P. Now, it's easier to look at this from left to right, just like I did what I did in the yellow. So in your table, though, they've got the negation of P, that column first. So what I'm gonna do is just jot it down because the negation of P was false, false, true, true. Well, my F's are not very good, are they? False, there you go, false, true, true. And then my um, negation of Q was the purpley color, so that's false, true, false, true. And now you can just look between them like there's arrows, you know, right here, all down the list. Like there's arrows, you know, like an arrow and an arrow and an arrow and an arrow. And look at it right there as if false, then false, if true, that, you know, just go down the list. And really, I look for, on an if-then statement, I look for the if true, then false. And I only see one of them. It's right here, the second one. 
this is if true then false. All the others would be trues. Okay, so now when I come over here to do the last step, which will be the green, this will be step five, it's if this yellow, then that blue. And just to make it easier when I'm working this through, I'm gonna copy the yellow down here. The yellow went true, false, true, true. True, false, true, true. And then the blue went true, false, true, true. Okay, and now for the green, this is an if and only if. And remember, if you have two T's, it's true. And if you have two F's, it's true. But if you have one T and an F or an F and a T, those are both falses. And when I look at all of these, I've got true, true and true, false and false, true and true, true and true. So these are all trues for my biconditional problem. And that's number 11.